Good morning students. Today we are going to see introduction to thread specifications. So I am uh, Dr. Arika Salukumar, Associate Professor Senior in the School of Mechanical Engineering and Vellur Institute of Technology, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. So the next one is uh, thread specifications. So to specify the thread. So if you want to specify a thread, so everyone must provide the following information then only we can specify a thread one is thread form so just now we have seen a profile or shape and the second one is thread series so you have to know and the third one is major diameter so we have seen that and the class of fit so what kind of fit it is we have to we should know and the sink single and multi-star threads so whether it is a single or multi-star threads we have to know that and threads per inch there is an english system so all these things if we are providing information then only we can specify a thread so in this class we will see thread form in the later so later classes we can now see thread series major diameter class of fit single and multi-star threads and threads per inch so in this class we are further proceeding with thread form so what is thread form so just now we have come across thread form is the shape or profile of a screw thread so here so you can see this diagram it's a metric screw thread so metric thread will call in iso standard so as i explained earlier we are following ISO standard during the practical classes so here in this schematic diagram you can see that what is internal thread what is external threads how you have to specify the dimensions of a thread so if you take internal thread diameters and external thread diameters you have to know what is major diameter what is pitch diameter what is minor diameter and various formulas to calculate that so how to calculate the depth how to calculate the major diameter and how to calculate the minor diameter so all these details will be there so once you know what is thread form so thread form is the shape of profile or the shape or profile of, the, of a screw thread so here you can see that the external threads what should be the angle the internal threads how it will be and what are the dips are there and you can see the root is rounded and cleared beyond the width so all these forms it should be explained in the shape or profile of a screw thread so that is known as thread form so the next one is so the previous one model we have seen is metric thread so here we are going to see the other thread forms that is short v we are having and uh, Whitworth we are having, buttress we are having, square, acme, warm, all these things are other threaded forms. So I want to recollect uh, more time this, this is very important. So thread form is the shape or profile of a screw thread. What we are following is a metric screw thread. That's only I have put this slide as the first. So metric thread means all these specifications we have to be clear about that and we have to clearly um, clearly draw the shape or profile of a screw thread so metric screw thread means you have to use only this particular format and all these details nomenclature whatever other terms whatever we have seen earlier you have to follow that internal thread diameters external thread diameters depth root crust all those things pitch pitch diameter all those things so apart from this metric thread Form. So we are having other thread forms that is also we are using in uh, industrial application or wherever the machine components are there we are using it. So those forms are one is short V, Whitworth, Buttress, Square, Acme, Warm. So you can see the profile of the screw thread will vary. The short V it will look like V, Whitworth it will have a small curve instead of sharp. Uh, tooth it will have a, a blunt one or a 
curved one and buttress you can have a combination of uh, sharp and width by seeing that the sharp is 60 degree the width is 55 degree and buttress is 45 degree the encoded angle you can uh, see between the two surfaces of the threads and um, you can see the depth also so it will for v thread it is 0 0.87 times of the pitch and uh, width worth it's 0 0.64 times of the pitch and uh, buttress it is 0 0.66 uh, times of the pitch and you can see the square thread it is 0 0.5 times of the pitch but you can see it's a right angle it's a 90 degree and you can see the acme so it is a little bit not a right angle it's having 0.5 pitch but at the same time it is having an encoded angle of 29 degree a little deviated from the square and then last one you can see a warm it's similar to the acme but you can see the depth is 0.69 pitch so a yeah, small variation but uh, based on this variation the thread forms can be applied to the different applications so uh, let us see one by one now uh, this, uh, this kind of thread forms so the first one we will take short v thread so you can see that short v as i told you it's having an included angle of 60 degree and the pitch is clearly defined and it's having a sharp corner and 0.8 on p and that is pitch it's a depth so it is having a larger contact area and also it's providing a more frictional resistant to more seat can be used in effective positioning but it can be used in effective position so wherever we need effective positioning we can use a sharp v thread so based on this our effective positioning is required it is used in a brass pipe work so the next one is British standard with both thread so here as I said that it's not a, having a sharp corner at the same time the encoded angle is 55 degree but the depth is 0.64 times of the pitch so the profile has rounded ends yeah uh, so compared to the V it's having a the profile has rounded ends making it less liable to damage than sharp V thread yeah. so because of uh, V thread is having a sharp corner so as we discussed in the class sharp Corners will have a more stress concentration, so it will tend to fail. And one more thing is, this thread form is adopted in Britain in inch units, so that's only it is called as British Standard Whitworth thread. So the next one is buttress thread. So you can see now it's uh, 45 degree, so 60 degree, degree, now it's 45 degree. And the pitch, you can see the depth is 0 0.66 pitch, times of pitch. So, yeah, as I told earlier, uh, this thread is a combination of V and square threads. Also. So it exhibits the advantage of square thread, like the ability to transmit power and low frictional resistance. So, so it's a combination of v and square thread so obviously it is having an uh, advantage of advantages of both square thread and v thread the same time the advantage of square thread is ability to transmit more power and it is having a low frictional resistance so if we see um, uh, v thread so it is having a, a disadvantage of a high frictional resistance so because the combination of square thread and v thread is used in buttress thread so one will overcome with other and uh, it can be used in many applications so based on the advantage of square thread and uh, v thread so it is used in a power transmission in one direction so you can see that the screw press and the quick acting uh, carbon dust wise you can see this kind of uh, buttress threads so buttress threads is a combination of v and square and it is having an advantage of uh, transmitting a power and um, also in one direction so example screw press and quick acting carbon dust wise so only one direction only to transmit the power transmission okay so for that we can use buttress thread so please uh, make a note of all these applications so it will be useful for your future when you are designing any threads screw threads
so next one is yeah square thread so you can see here actually the thread it's not sharp it is not round and it is not having v so you can see that 0.5 pitch and 0.5 pitch the depth you can see it is not having any variation in this thing so it's acid square thread so what is the advantage of this why it is having an angle of 90 degree in the two surface so if you see that it's an ideal thread form for power transmission so if it is a right angle um, up to the axis if the thread flag is at right angle to the axis so right angle means this one so this particular one if it is right angle to the axis the normal force between the threads acts parallel to the axis so because of this what will happen is it will have a zero radial component so it's, it doesn't have any radial so because of this so, so for power transmission the square thread will be useful always that's the thing so so square thread where you can see this the nut to transmit very high pressures so it's in the case of a screw jack so the next one is acme thread so if you see the profile uh, it's a little bit similar to square thread but it's not having a right angle it's having some incredible angle that is 29 degree so it's a modified form of square thread as i said it's much stronger than the square thread so why it means because the base is wider and it's easy to cut yeah the disadvantage of the square thread is uh, because it's a right angle thread form to cut is uh, so more difficult compared to the hackman thread so that's the reason so hackman thread is a modified form of square thread and it is much stronger than square thread because of the wider base and it is easy to cut and one more thing is the inclined slides of the thread so you can see that there is uh, in um, square thread it is in a right angle so the engagement and disengagement will have some issues but in the acme thread because it is having a wide open that is 29 dd so it's easy to engage and disengage so for example if you come across a lead screw of a lathe you can see acme thread so kindly visit our labs so all these things you can see in we are having various machine components so all these things acme thread square thread buttress thread v threads which we can see it in our workshops so next one is warm thread so you can see that it's just uh, similar to your acme thread but the thing is depth is higher than the acme thread so warm thread is having a higher depth and see that this is similar to the admin thread it's deeper it's having an advantage that uh, it is used on shafts to carry power to warm wheels so, so that's only it's called as warm thread okay so so this is also what are things we have seen in this uh, thread form i want to recollect um so because uh, anyway nomenclature will study so thread forms so you can see metric thread after that various forms are there so you can see sharp v with both buttress square acme warm and uh, sharp v we have seen so it's having larger contact area friction resistance to motion and uh, but it can be applied in effective positioning where it is stuck at next one is bit standard with both thread so as i told it has round ends so it's compared to v thread so less damage is there because it is having a round ends and the buttress thread you can see so it's a combination of v and square threads so it's having a both advantage of square and square thread and v thread so where it is used is power transmit take place in only one direction it is useful so example screw press quick acting carpenter and then square thread so this one only we are using in the screw jack because this unit is to transmit very high pressures that one the main thing is this kind of thread threads are used for 
power transmission application because of its the thread flank is at right angle to the axis because of that uh, there is a zero radial component for this the next one is agmi thread so from the square thread they have a little bit modified it's having a weighted base and it's uh, one more thing is easy to cut and uh, engagement and disengagement is you see so you can see in our um, lathe lathe screw and warm thread so it's used in warm wheels so it's the same like it may but it is having depth is deeper it's so south to carry power to warm wheels so these are the things and thread forms we have seen till now so these are the references you can go through for further information about uh, screw fastenings and uh, this uh, screw uh, screw thread nomenclature and another one is the thread forms so mission or technical graphics communication by gary so these two things i have referred so please uh, stay home and save lives so thank you